Right now, we all have this experience as customers. I mean, in a lot of cases, we've just given up on larger brands. Uh, you know when you call customer service, you're going to have seven menus to go through. You know when you get an email from them, they're just going to send you the full catalog because it's Labor Day, and that's why. And that's what you expect. And you put them in your promotions folder, and you throw out your direct mail because you've come to expect somebody that can't read your feedback or even has a chance to read your feedback. So you're not gonna invest in building any relationship with the brand because you don't care. Because they, it feels like they don't care. The truth is they care, but their technology and tools are limiting them from actually showing you that they care. And so I think what changes with the AI marketing loop is one, the data team can focus on bringing all the data to the marketing team to be able to use when they're deciding what to send you and why. But then on the marketing side, marketers will actually be more discerning of, maybe I don't just run the Labor Day campaign this time. Maybe when I'm brainstorming with the AI, I actually split it into multiple different cohorts and I send you something interesting for Labor Day, but that's based on your last purchase. So I think when that starts to change from the customer perspective, you're gonna see some things where you're like, hey, like I'm not going to just default ignore 95% of communications. I actually think this brand that I like, whether it's clothing or furniture, they're actually going to tailor things to me and probably less frequently because they'll learn that I will pay more attention. Right now, the thing that works is blasting me about Labor Day and July 4th 25 times beforehand. What'll happen is they'll likely blast you two to three times with something that's much tailored, more tailored to your personality and what you actually want.